sitting in the school line, so I'm gonna make this quick. It's nothing like Brian Adams Christmas, right? You guys got your Christmas music playing? Tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> hey everyone, how are you doing today? So glad you're tuning in with me on this Monday. Christmas music is playing for sure. And I love some of the Christmas stations on satellite. So, hey guys, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday and a good start to your December and getting ready for this incredible month. I thought that I would do a little talk with you today on finding builders and maybe why you're missing some really good builders. Um, for those of you who are new to my scopes, thank you. Thank you so much. Keto has been awesome. I love keto. And I've lost 15 pounds on it. So I plan to, I really want to lose about 15 more. So I'm hoping that that will help. My body butter, awesome. The lavender body butter. But I am going to do a quick scope with you guys on finding builders today. My name is Jackie Ritz. I'm founder of the Paleo Mama blog. I'm also a blue diamond in doTERRA. I've been um, doing, and don't lose more. I do have more to lose, okay? I have been building a doTERRA business for about three years now, and I have come into contact with a lot of people who have the common, well, I wouldn't necessarily call it a complaint, but just a growing concern of I can't find builders. So I wanted to do a quick scope to give you guys some tips on finding builders. And I know that this is a common thing that we all go through. And guess what? You will never stop looking for builders. Um, and even when you get to a rank, a higher rank, you know, like Blue Diamond or Presidential, your common thing is replacing builders. <laughs> so, you know, not everyone sticks around in this business, unfortunately. Um, they a lot of people quit right when it gets tough. So our job is to continue to look for builders and to continue to replace builders, to continue to boost up builders from um, volume underneath. So one of my biggest revelations that I had at one of the network masterminding trip I went to in Orlando a few weeks ago was stop looking for builders because a lot of the times your builders are already in your organization. So if you were a builder and it, okay, how about this? Tap the screen. If you join doTERRA to build a business, let's say anybody, I know we got some people. If you join doTERRA just to build a business, that was your sole intent. Okay, good. We got a lot of people. All right. What about, um, how many of you out there join doTERRA just to purchase the products? Tap the screen if you joined doTERRA just to purchase the products. We got a lot more hearts going up on that one. You did it because your hubby said to. <laughs> I never knew that, Nicole. Nice to know that. So most of us joined doTERRA because we just wanted to purchase high quality, the best quality, essential oils, right? And so we went through a journey and our journey looks different for everybody. Some people waited six months to start building a business and some people waited six years to build a business. But we all are going through a journey and so it's really important that when you are looking for builders that you don't neglect your users because your users are the ones who are going to become builders. So my suggestion and tips to you for building your doTERRA business and for finding builders is to stop looking for them so much and to start focusing on your customers, your consumers, your people who are passionate and love the oils. When we take our focus off of them, we are going to disrupt their journey in doTERRA. And not everybody's going to build a business. Some of us are just gonna dabble and share. I mean, I have people who just share and just enroll one or two every other month just because they love doing it and that is completely okay. But what you need to do is you need to support those users on your team who are passionate about the oils, who are loving the oils, and who have joined doTERRA 
because they have no idea of the compensation plan. Those are the people you're going to turn them into builders. So you nurture that relationship with them. You continually educate and talk about the oils. You do events and local get togethers and you create a tribe. And so it's so important to create your own tribe and your own oily community because from that you are going to see that builders pop out of nowhere. And so it's, it's important that you respect that journey with each individual. You don't push them too much. All right. Some of them need a little bit of a push. And that push for me is going to those sharers and saying, Hey, you know, you have, you're doing great with sharing the oils and you even have an Etsy business that fits in perfect. Have you ever considered creating an income in doTERRA? So, but what's important for us is to know when to approach those people who are right at that point of saying yes. And if you forget about them, and if you stop talking to them, and if you don't ask them the question, then they never have the opp opportunity to say yes. So create your tribe by creating a community of people who are passionate and love the oils. And not only that, you need to make sure that you are educating them on how to create that lifestyle of using the natural products that doTERRA offers so that they're able to become extremely passionate about that and then share that with their friends and family. So how many of us have had a builder pop out of the middle of nowhere because they were using the oils or they popped out a roller bottle in front of somebody and their friend said, how do I get that? And then all of a sudden you get a text message that says, Hey Jackie, my friend just liked my roller bottle and she wants to buy the oils. What do I do? That's how you create builders. You show your customers, your consumers, your users, all the support that you can give them. And, and from that you will create builders. Yeah, so many customers six to 12 months after enrolling are the ones that become builders. So for an example, I was not somebody who joined as a builder. I joined because I just wanted the best essential oils in the world. That's why I joined. And it was not until two months later that I sold my first oil or my starter kit. So go into your team and, and educate encourage, do product training, create your Facebook group of your tribe, share with them about the oils, Facebook live, different things about products and sales going on. And from that, you are going to create your builders. So that's it, everybody. I've got to pick my kids up now. And I just want to share that little tip of advice that was stewing on my heart, the biggest takeaway from mastermind. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And I encourage you to go through your team and look for those people who need the big question, those dabblers, those sharers who are ready for you to go to them and ask them the big question. Hey, Morgan, I see that you've been, you know, sharing and you've enrolled a couple people over the past two months. Have you ever considered about creating an income in doTERRA? It's not that hard guys. Okay. We can do it. In fact, it's our responsibility to share the financial freedom in doTERRA that we all have experienced at some point in some level, right? So have a wonderful Monday and I will see you guys on the next scope. Bye everyone.